Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. In this video, we are going to uh, install SNMP on a Linux based machine which is running on cloud so that we can do SNMP monitoring. Um, so I'm going to show you how to install SNMP, how to create SNMP v3 user configurations, and then finally I'll show you if it is hosted on cloud, what is the additional knob you need to enable so that you can monitor resources from outside world. Right. So cat at COS release that gives you the operating system. The operating system is Oracle Linux Server 8.7, as you can see. To save some time, I have already installed SNMP module. So that's what we are checking here. RPM hyphen QA grip net SNMP, and you can see those utils and libs are already running. But I have not activated the domain. So that's why you can see if you do show system status, system CTL status, SNMPD, it's not running. It's only loaded, right? As you can see, it's just loaded, but it's active, inactive. All right, so now let's go and check the SNMPD conf file, and we would like to understand the different parameters in it. And going through that file give you uh, a good idea: uh, what are the MIPS available? How to do SNMP walk and uh, uh, it it also give you some handy uh, ready made pre built scripts, All right? So this is a big file. Uh, it's a good idea to cat per page so that you can uh, go page by page. But as you can see, you can do disk check, you can do load average check, you can do proc check, and system information, all those things. At the same time, you can see which MIPS are loaded. So snmpd.conf we already have a community name public that's a pre-built we have a view called system view and it is including uh, 1361211 that is the root of the MIB that means pretty much everything under that is supported or included then we have some more views um, and what they are including. So if you are new to SNMP, you can go to SDN Tech Forum and search for SNMP. There are many uh, beginner to advanced videos are available and you can um, quickly make yourself aware with SNMP. In this video, we are going to use SNMP v3 because SNMP v2c is by default insecure and hence not recommended we will use snmp v3 because that can give you authentication and uh, uh, encryptions all right it also uh, as we are going through this file you can see uh, it also suggests uh, how to do snmp walk and um, what mib to use and um, so that kind of suggestion is also there but you don't have to remember mib you can use uh, MIB alias is also like system uptime. That's an alias behind the scene. It resolves into a MIB. All right. Now let's go to var lib net snmp. So not cat. We just want to go to var lib net snmp nothing in there now at this juncture we have our snmp uh, net snmp module loaded but they are not active that means snmp process or daemon is not running uh, so let's go ahead and create snmp v3 user it is highly uh, 
recommended that when you create your SNMPv3 user, you stop your daemon. And at this point of time, as you can see, it's not running, so it's we are safe. Uh, let's create net SNMP. To create an SNMPv3 user, use net SNMP create v3 user and it will prompt you for SNMPv3 username. Provide a username, SDN tag, enter a passphrase, authentication passphrase. So as I mentioned, SNMPv3 provide you authentication, provides you authentication and encryption. So provide a passphrase for authentication and also enter a passphrase for encryption. If you press enter, you're actually reusing authentication. So same uh, passphrase for authentication and en encryption. Once you do that, as you can see, okay, it cannot create permission denied because uh, this is a privilege uh, operation. So always use sudo. Again, we are doing the same thing, sudo net hyphen SNMP hyphen create v3 user, put username, authentication passphrase, reuse the passphrase for encryption. And as you can see, it created a new uh, following line into var lib net SNMP, SNMP dconf. It created a new user and uh, by default, authentication, uh, authentication algorithm is used is MD5 and encryption is DES. As you can see, these both are like an old standard. They are not very secure. So um, if you are using authentication and encryption, but you are using obsolete uh, uh, ciphers, that defeat the purpose, right? So uh, we should actually use AES and SHA. And uh, so let's do that. Uh, let's um, create a user again with the required authentication and encryption. As you can see, if you don't mention what authentication and encryption you need, then the default used is MD5 and DES, which is not very secure or not very uh, strong ciphers. So though I have a SNMP v3 user, but I'm not happy with their uh, security standard. And uh, as you know, Cloud VM is either the privilege uh, operations is better. You inherit a role of, um, say, su um, super user. And I'm saying system CTL start SNMP D services. And as you can see, once you put that instruction, your SNMP services are running. Module was already loaded. Now it is, um, it, it has started. So it is active and running. And we have net SNMP version 5.8. So this is way and this is how you can start and stop. We started and now we have stopped. Why? Because we want to create the user again with required standards. And this time we will do that in one line, one single line, hyphen A, hyphen X. A is for um, encryption and X is for uh, authentication. So it is asking you put an encryption passphrase. So just like before, and we are reusing the authentication. Okay, the new line is added or updated in at CSM SNMPD conf and this user is RO user read only user. Now we are restarting SNMPD services with st system CTL start. Now let's check again system CTL status SNMPD service it's running. As you can see, passphrase chosen is below the length requirement of USM. So I chose a small passphrase and because of that, the new key was not generated. You need to make sure that you fix that. And 
Yeah. But at this point of time, we are good to uh, do a SNMP walk and get the system uptime. Now, if it is a cloud hosted VM, you would like to allow um, UDP port 161 and 162 inbound so that you can monitor this Linux VM or this application uh, server from outside world. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching.